Hi again, Red Hat developers. This is Jason with the Red Hat Developers Program. I'm here today at day two of Summit, in two, at Summit 2017 in the Dev Zone with Joanna Nockfor. She's going to talk about the Red Hat mobile applications platform, Raincatcher. Hi everyone, uh, again I'm a senior mobile technical account manager here at Red Hat and I'm here to introduce a special feature for Red Hat Mobile called Raincatcher. Raincatcher uh, was specifically developed for uh, workflow models and for enterprises that are working on workflow applications. So what is Raincatcher? Um, in three bullets, we can say we can consider Raincatcher as an RMAD feature. It is an RMAD feature because it comes with a lot of combined modules that help you build applications with many features quickly. Um, it is specifically, again, for workforce management, and if you want to scan that QR code, that will take you to our open source GitHub repository and um, take a look at the code, and maybe you can contribute one or more modules to our rain catcher. All right, so let's talk a little bit. Uh, this is kind of an upper level slide of what the requirements are for enterprise workforce management. For sure, if you're an enterprise and you have workers out in the field and they are collecting data, they're doing their job, uh, they need to submit forms, it has to be flexible for you to be able to define your workflow. And of course, a workflow is multiple forms that a worker has to fill one after the other. You have to be able to see where they are, what job they're doing, be able to schedule a job for them, and be able to have a mobile that is an easy interface for them to use and not have to think about uh, how to use the UI. Analytics is big. You need to understand how efficient you are or how efficient you can be. You need to be able to talk or message your workforce easily and not be able to think about how can I call the, my, my worker here at this field. Um, so those are like general requirements for a successful enterprise uh, workforce management. So using Raincatcher, and I will talk about it in a little bit more, uh, more deep dive into it, why do you need Raincatcher? As I explained, if you are an enterprise and you are working on creating apps, workflow apps, um, that increase your productivity of your workforce, streamline the workflow, uh, you have real-time operations going on between you and your workforce, that would give you better customer satisfaction and, it will of course, that will increase your sales and revenue. So let's, let's go a little deeper into what is Rain, how is Raincatcher developed or how is it architected. Raincatcher is heavily based on modules. So you can create your own module. We also have modules that are WFM modules that come packaged with this feature. Um, what is a module? A module can have a UI user interface, and that we use Angular.js. It could be on the phone with the user interface, or it could be on the cloud, and that's where we use Node.js and Express.js for routing. And it can communicate with each other using uh, sync or HTTP. Now, modules, they don't talk to each other directly. They use a special module called a mediator. And a mediator is a published subless messaging queue. So if you want to talk to a different module, you subscribe to their topic or you publish your own topic. And topics are represented by a URL or a string starting with WFM. And string one, string two will explain more of what the specific topic is about. Uh, so looking at the right side of the picture, we can see that uh, the same module can have a piece of code that interacts with the user, uses a mediator to communicate with other modules, can use HTTP sync to communicate with the module up in the uh, cloud. So moving on to a different picture of the architecture. This is more a higher level view of what uh, Raincatcher architecture is. You can see at, starting at the user interface, so an app module can have a user interface that's Angular. It talks to another module using a mediator. Then it uses all this, the uh, platform WFM modules to communicate with other modules on the cloud app. And then going back up again through Mediator and the app module. And if you're familiar with Red Hat Mobile, you're probably familiar with our ambassadors. And an ambassadors are modules that help you interact with uh, other servers that you have on your network, legacy servers or anything else. So let's uh, talk about the use case. Uh, from a use case perspective, a Raincatcher feature has two users. It has the mobile worker user, and it has um, the user that is managing all these, the supervisor that's, that's sitting in an enterprise and managing all these workers that are on the field. From a mobile application perspective, for the worker on the field, when he logs in, he will see all the work orders that he has coming in that he has to do. If he clicks on that, he'll be able to see where the work is, 
what kind of workflow he needs to do, what kind of forms he has to fill up once he's done or where he's middle, how can he get to his uh, also directions on how to get to the place where he needs to do his work. From a supervisor perspective on the web portal, uh, when they log in, they can see who the workers on the field are, where they are, what kind of job they're doing right now. You can assign jobs to them, you can communicate with them. Um, so all this comes with, if we move on to the next slide, uh, with our demo solution. So if, you, uh, if you're a Red Hat mobile application platform customer today, you can start a project that has all these modules already built in. And as I explained before, the mobile app is Cordova, and that's the use case here, the UI. Uh, it will also come with a web portal for your supervisor, and that's how it starts here with login. And it also comes with a cloud app part, that's the endpoint for those two. And um, as an add-in, we have an example for a WFM authentication module that you can use also. So if you scan this barcode here, that will take you to our GitHub how to start guide, how to do this demo solution if you are a Red Hat mobile application platform customer. Uh, my next talks, I think that we're done with this talk, my next talk is uh, extending Red Hat products with mobile at 10.30 tomorrow. And uh, I have another talk that's really interesting, is Artificial Intelligence Tools for Mobile. That's end of Thursday, so hopefully you can hang around to see that one. Um, and thank you. Uh, we also have uh, TAM blogs. If you're interested, you can scan this, or uh, my Twitter account. Um, hopefully we can communicate. All right, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you.